Hey guys, it's Jake again with Back to Roots Outdoor and Bushcraft. I'm out here today just for the afternoon I'm in this small wooded area here, as you can see. Um, it's not real densely wooded, but there is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of deadfall around, which is good because my main purpose for being out here today is uh, basically get some redemption. Um, I'm going to build a bushcraft chair out here today. I attempted one a few videos ago uh, whenever, whenever I was just doing um, a lunch out at Black Kettle and it failed absolutely miserable or miserably. I will, uh, I'll put a link down below in the description if you guys want to check that video out. But no, today I mean, it, it's kind of twofold for me being out here. I mean, for one, I want to get the chair built, and for two, I'm going to put my new Swiss Army knife to the test. This is the Swiss Army knife camper. Um, it's got some stuff on there that I don't really need, such as the corkscrew, because they all apparently love putting corkscrews on them. But it's got the knife and it's got the uh, the saw on there, so I'm going to do as much as I can with the Swiss Army knife. Um, I do still have my Mora and on my hip and my uh, Baco folding in my backpack. So um, for the heavier stuff, yes, I may need to use that, but this thing's actually got a pretty hefty looking saw on it. Um, pretty aggressive looking teeth, if you can see right there. So right now all I really got to do is just get some uh, materials gathered. I've got some cordage in my pack. Uh, once I get the chair built up, I'm probably just going to relax for a little while. I uh, brought my little uh, fuel stove with me, sit down, have a cup of coffee, and uh, just relax for a little while. So these three branches right here ought to do it for me uh, for at least the main part of the structure. Uh, for the seat itself and for the back, I can just gather some, some smaller sticks. But we're going to start getting these bucked up with the old Swiss Army knife and see how she does. Tell you right now, this is going to be a lengthy process. Unfortunately, since this blade is so short, you can't really cut all the way through anything longer than this. You know, what, inch and a half, or probably about two inches, give or take. So you gotta keep rolling it, and then once you've got sawn all the way through the outside, you can break it right in the middle. like so. So I got all three pieces cut to length here and I'm just gonna lash them together just like a regular tripod. To tie them together I'm just using this cheapo uh, untarred bank line I got from Walmart. I think it's like four or five bucks a roll. I'm not sure how many feet it is. I don't even know what the tensile strength of it is but it'll it should do for what I'm doing today. So to start off with, just gonna do a Canadian jam knot on this first one. You guys know what that is. Uh, it's also basically just a slip knot. Just tie a half knot around the running end of the string and a stopper half knot at the end. 
and it'll tighten right up. And from there, just lash her on together. You want to cut yourself off a decent length. Normally when I cut stuff like this, whether it be this type of nylon cord, bank line, or paracord, I'll melt the end of it with a lighter. Um, the wind's blowing pretty bad today, I'm sure you guys can hear, and I apologize um, if it's coming through on the camera. <coughs> so instead of melting it, because I know that's going to be a fruitless endeavor with this wind, I'm just going to tie a little stopper knot in the end to keep it from fraying. And then once you've got a few wraps around these logs, you want to run in between them. So it's regular tripod construction. And close it all off. A couple of half hitches. And that ought to do it. And there we have a tripod. Now I've got to get a couple of runners tied onto my front legs there, back here to my back support, that I can actually build a seat. Another Canadian jam knot. Again, just wrap it about. Ending again with a couple of half hitches. Just gotta do that for the other side now. Like so. So now I just have to tie each one of these runners up to the front leg or front legs using the same type of uh, knotting system, just wrapping it around and half hitches back onto itself. There's the skeleton. So all I gotta do now is just get some runners to lay across here for the seat. And then, I don't know, two, three, maybe four there for a backrest. I'm certainly not gonna go all the way up with it. So the seat's done. Let's get a few laughs there on the back. We'll call her good. Well. Get a few laughs on the back and then we'll test it out and see if it collapses underneath me. All right, well, there she is. May need to twist that a little bit. Well, I guess nothing to do now but uh, try it out and see how sturdy it is. Definitely a lot higher than what I thought it was gonna be. Huh. Well, that sucks. Uh, looks like I need a sturdier runner. Okay, so it's rebuilt. Uh, I put the runners there a little bit lower because it was sitting up a little bit high. Even with as tall as I am, I don't think my feet would have touched the ground. Um, put some sturdier sticks on there. So, take two. <laughs> Fingers crossed.
Which ain't bad at all. It's actually pretty comfortable. Yeah, I think it's time to start getting the coffee going. So just a little tip that I do before I leave the house if I know I'm going to have coffee, say, that afternoon or that morning if I'm spinning an overnighter, I'll go ahead and pre-measure out the grounds and I just tie it up in a coffee filter and then I'll tie that to the handle of my little billy can there and boil it with the coffee grounds or the coffee filter in there. You get a perfectly good coffee without all the grounds in the bottom. It's just a little trick that I do. I got the old jet boil going with the Magellan stove. I'm really hoping in this wind that uh, it'll keep burning and not blow itself out. Hopefully. All right, I think that's probably good. With this wind on that little burner, that's probably as close to a good rolling boil as I'm gonna get. Plus, it's not like this is creek water or anything. This is water that I got from the house, so I just wanted to heat it up nice and well. All right, guys, I'm gonna sit here and relax a little bit. This wind is just getting ridiculous, and man, I apologize if it is making it that much more difficult to hear me. Uh, so with that being said, with this wind just getting worse and worse, um, I'm probably just gonna sit here, relax for a little bit, finish up my coffee, and uh, probably just pack up and head back to the house. Like I said, this is just gonna be an afternoon thing. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably talk to you guys a little bit more once I get in the car and get out of this wind. Uh, but for right now, so I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee and peace and quiet. Hopefully we don't get any more ATVers coming around here. And I can just relax and enjoy. All right, back in the car. <laughs> Man, that wind is starting to scream out there. Oh, but hey, I just want to thank everybody for watching the video, uh, especially if you watched it all the way through. Um, I know I say it every time, but I really do appreciate it. Just a quick little afternoon trip. Uh, wanted to get some redemption on building a chair, which I think I did. Thing was actually a lot more comfortable than what I was expecting it to be, and I'm definitely gonna be building one uh, out of the bushcraft camp. Which, by the way, um, I will be making it out there hopefully in the next couple of weeks uh, to film um, another video, uh, start expanding more on the camp itself. But as for this trip, um, the Swiss Army Knife uh, Camper. No, I would not want it to be my only knife and or saw to have out in the bush, but for what it is, this thing's a little stud. I mean, it. It was a workhorse. Um, even with the amount of times that the saw blade bit in, bit, bit in and kind of flexed over and everything, I never bent it, actually uh, bent it out of shape. Never broke it, obviously. It continued to work. Um, there were some of the bigger ones. Obviously, I wasn't able to go all the way through, but I could saw around and break it. Um, the knife, I hadn't sharpened it. This was straight out of the box. The knife was good and sharp. Had no complaints with it. Yeah, um, I would highly recommend it. I know they make a, a Bushcrafter one, which maybe has some of the less superfluous stuff on there that we don't need, you know, such as the corkscrew. Um, but 
again, me being where I am, I can't find stuff like that. So this is what I found. He said, I'm happy with it. So yeah, the, um, the Swiss Army Knife Camper. Uh, like I said, good little knife. I highly recommend it. Um, I, don't remember, I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it. I think it was 25 26 bucks, something like that. So really not a bad deal. Um, it took me an hour and a half-ish to get that. Eh, probably less than that. Probably just over an hour to get that chair fully built. Um, I could have done it in half the time if I'd used my Baco or if I'd used my axe, which I couldn't because I actually broke the last trip. Um, neither here nor there. But uh, no, all in all, good little knife. Highly recommend it. Definite workhorse. So yeah, guys, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Uh, like I said, it was just a short little afternoon trip. Um, I'm, I will be doing more of these as well as my overnighters just because as with a lot of you, I mean, I, I can't get out every weekend or every week and do an overnighter or a multi-nighter. I, I just don't have the schedule for it. So I get out and get some dirt time whenever I can. With that being said, like I said, if you guys enjoyed it, which I hope you did, uh, go ahead and give it a subscribe. Um, I, do, I will have more videos coming out soon. Um, and if you want to know when my videos are coming out, go ahead and hit the little bell icon uh, down below. Um, it'll come up uh, with something like get all notifications. It'll be in a little separate window. Just go ahead and click get all notifications. And uh, as long as Facebook gets their act together, you should get notifications by email whenever uh, my new videos come out. But yeah, like I said, I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, you know, if you would, like, share, subscribe, get the word out there. I'd really appreciate it. I'd, I'd like to grow this channel, you know, get, get more people interested in getting outside. But as I said, I'm going to go ahead and quit rambling, and I'm going to go ahead and take off. i got about an hour's drive to get to the house. So until next time, you all have a good one.